going to be here all those hours overnight, our team. We've got a long night ahead of us, Chris. What, uh, are, you, what are you tracking now? Yeah, the good news is, Amber and Joel, is that this is not going to be like Florence. We've been talking about that for the last couple of days. It's already picking up forward speed. It's going to zip through the state. This is going to be in and out of here uh, by tomorrow morning. By this time tomorrow, we will have had sunshine, I think, for several hours. By late morning, I think many areas will be back in the sun. But we got to get through tonight. As you said, good idea to have some way to get some warnings, especially if some tornado warnings are issued east of the triangle along and east of Interstate 95. That could be a concern uh, later on tonight because typically you get more tornadoes on the right side of a land falling tropical system. In this case, it's moving northward, so the right side is the east side, which is going to put the eastern third of the state in a little bit higher risk of some uh, tornado activity. Not necessarily widespread destructive tornadoes, but at least some isolated weak tornadoes. And because this is going to be moving so quickly, uh, they're going to be fast hitting, meaning they're not going to have a whole lot of lead time uh, if there are tornado warnings. So here is Isaias now uh, to the east of uh, looks like about uh, not sorry, south of Charleston, east of Hilton Head, uh, moving northward now and picking up a little bit of speed. But notice again, most of the heavy rain, the cloud tops here are north of the center, so it's not a real well defined symmetrical storm, but it still has the chance a few more hours over the warm Gulf Stream waters that it could intensify to a low end hurricane that would make it a uh, category one. But either way, the uh, impacts are going to be the same, whether it's a high end tropical storm or a low end hurricane that's pretty much going to be the same in terms of weather around here. Here's a look at the uh, track again with the storm. Uh, it's uh, just east of Hilton Head moving northward is going to race across the I-95 corridor later tonight. So by tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, it's going to be north of us and our weather is going to be improving. The worst of our weather will come between midnight and about 8 a.m. In any one spot, it's not going to be eight hours of heavy rain and wind. It's going to be more like four or five hours tops because it'll be moving so quickly, but it makes landfall again after midnight tonight. So tropical storm warnings now from Raleigh and Fayetteville to the east. But if you're in Durham, Chapel Hill, Roxborough, doesn't mean there won't be any impacts here. It just means the winds won't be quite as strong. And so there's no tropical storm warning, but still flash flood watches are in effect as well. We've got some rain already. Some of the outer bands of rain with Isaias on first alert Doppler radar uh, from Raleigh northward. Pretty quiet, but on the uh, Wake Johnston County line, there's a heavier shower around Sanford. Got some heavy rain. There was a little lightning with this earlier, but not now. Uh, this is all tracking northward pretty quickly at about 20 to 25 miles per hour west of Smithfield to some rain again. Uh, heavy shower there right along Interstate 40 a little bit west of there. So here's our first alert predictor. It'll be happening through the night. Let's go through it hour by hour and you see four or five o'clock. If you have any errands to run, just going to be some uh, scattered downpours, but no widespread rain, uh, no uh, strong winds around. That'll start to change late this evening. 730, you see just some scattered showers, but here comes Isaias uh, just getting into view there after 10 o'clock, and there it is about midnight or so approaching the north-south Carolina border. Could be a Category 1 hurricane, maybe a strong tropical storm. Won't make a whole lot of difference either way in what happens around here. And then it begins to move rapidly to the north and east. So 230 in the morning, notice most of the heavy rain is to the north of the center like it is now. So the heavier rains begin to get into the triangle. This is the period here between about 1 2 a.m. to about 5 or 6 a.m. North of the center and east of the center, especially there could be some isolated tornadoes. So it's generally along and east of Interstate 95. It looks like this storm is going to really just hug the I-95 corridor. Here we are getting towards sunrise tomorrow. Still some heavy rain. This is when the winds will be the strongest as well as all of this uh, begins to track. Notice uh, as we get towards 7 8 o'clock, it's pushing into southern Virginia. That's how fast it'll be moving. Probably 20 to 25 miles per hour by then charging out of here. And if you're a late sleeper, get up 839 o'clock, especially south and west of Raleigh. The sun will be out and through the rest of the day. Uh, we're in good shape. Just uh, hopefully not a clean a lot of cleanup to do, but the weather's going to be great right through the rest of the afternoon. Really, it's the very early morning hours tomorrow are going to be the roughest. There may be an isolated shower later in the day. So again, bottom line of what to expect timing late tonight, Tuesday morning. Heavy rain, flash flooding is a threat. River flooding will be a bit of an issue as well. Could see anywhere from two to four inches of rain up to six in some spots. Winds gusting to 40 to 50 miles per hour in the triangle. The 60 mile per hour gusts will be confined to areas along and east of Interstate 95. Uh, the get, biggest risks are going to be that uh, isolated tornado risk and then power outages are going to be a concern, especially where you have the strongest winds, obviously, uh, from Fayetteville up to Rocky Mount, Wilson, Goldsboro, and also uh, into uh, areas 
areas along 95, uh, a little bit north of there. Here's what one thing that hurricane is going to be fighting or tropical storm is going to be fighting strong southwesterly wind shear. Now it was westerly and that was blowing some of the tops off. The southwest shear isn't quite as uh, much of a deterrent, but strong winds aloft are really going to uh, move this thing along. One, it's going to make it move faster, but also keep it from strengthening too rapidly. Again, maybe a low end hurricane. Lots of clouds over downtown Raleigh now got 84 degrees tonight. Again, the wind and rain will start to increase. Could see gusts of 45 and maybe as we head towards sunrise, higher gusts along and east of Interstate 95 lows around 70. Heavy rain will be a, a concern tomorrow. A windy morning, but then the winds taper down uh, morning rain and then partly sunny skies and tomorrow again, not a bad day. Once we get Isaias out of here, temperatures in the mid and upper 80s. Here's your first alert AccuWeather seven day forecast then. 80s tomorrow. Uh, then we're back into the typical summer weather with like scattered storms in the afternoon, Wednesday and Thursday. Notice we'll be close many days there, Amber and Joel, but no 90s on a seven day. Remember how hot it was in July, August starting off a little bit nicer than that.